In the last three hours, we've learned the wife of a senior Islamic State leader was charged in the U.S. for the death of American hostage Kayla Mueller. The 26-year-old humanitarian worker was killed in Syria last February after being held for two years in captivity. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins is digging into what local troops are doing to stop the terrorist group. ISIS isn't your usual enemy. They are behind beheadings and bloodbaths around the world, but our Marines are finding ways to stay strong. Some will never shake the sounds of battle. Grown men screaming, IEDs taking lives and limbs, and then there's this. Corporal William Regillus strumming his ukulele. He packed it when he left Camp Pendleton. I brought the ukulele to Iraq because, actually I bring it everywhere, because I like, it calms me down and helps put smiles on people's faces. He's part of the Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force, Crisis Response Central Command in Iraq. They're working with service members from the U.S. Army, Air Force, and the Royal Danish Army. Uh. They're advising and assisting Iraqi security forces by strengthening their skills and giving them the courage to fight terrorists. You, like you, you don't expect tough Marines to sing love songs. But at a time when days could be dark, he's keeping heart strong so Marines' minds can stay mission focused. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Now, they couldn't reveal exactly how many local troops are over there for security reasons, but we do know the Secretary of Defense is calling for more troops.